Steve, I am working on the 335 stitcher we got from uh, Bill Seidel. Okay, I'm having a few problems here. Uh, Andrew, Andre, I did not have time to rebuild the gearbox. Here's the gearbox right here. I've got it all tore apart. <clears throat> that gearbox fits right there through that shaft. Alright. <clears throat> I'm having a few problems here. Alright, as you can see, the inside diameter Alright, a little slow. Okay, inside diameter of my gear is looks like 35 millimeters. The inside of the new gear is 40 millimeters. Right there. Okay, my bearings. This is the bearing that came out. The inside diameter of the old bearing is 35 millimeters. The inside of a new bearing is actually the same. It's 35 millimeters. Okay, the outside diameter of the new bearing is 80 millimeters. The outside diameter of the old bearing that was in it is 72 millimeters. There it is, 72 millimeters. Okay, as you can see, let me get on the other side of the toolbox here. As you can see, the old bearings fit in there. Okay, the new bearing doesn't even come close. It, it's, it's too wide. Okay, so there's a few of the problems I'm having here. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to the parts diagram here. I am working off of this shaft right here, which is your B shaft. You can see right there, B shaft, which right here is your B shaft. Everything highlighted in yellow is what was sent to rebuild this gearbox. Okay, so this shaft right here, uh, part number 1372, is that guy right there. And there's the one that came out of it. All right, as you can see by the shaft, that shaft is, what, 30, 30 millimeters, which will fit the bearing. This shaft here is 35 millimeters, so the bearing won't fit on that one. And you can see, uh, this, is, this is a new bearing. Uh, it's actually too big for that shaft, but it'll it'll fit this shaft. <clears throat> the old bearing. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong end. Anyway, the old bearing fits right here, and the the inside diameter of these bearings. I got the old bearing on top. You can see the outside diameter too large. Okay, so <clears throat> this end cap is what the drive line hooks onto. It goes over this shaft here. It actually fits right in there like that. It just presses right in there. So the diameter is the same there. You can see your new shaft is quite a bit bigger. It will not, it won't even fit that. So even if I got the right bearings, uh, I won't be able to put this cap back on for the drive line to hook up, hook up to. Okay, on uh, this other shaft on the A, the A would be this back one right here. There's A, and this is your A right there. Okay, so we're looking at this shaft right here. <clears throat> that would be this. Okay, I'm not going to run a mic on anything. You're, you're going to see what's going on here. If I line the new shaft up with the old shaft, that's what it looks like, okay? So this new shaft right here where my thumb is, has got a collar on it, where over on this one here it was just a spacer. That's probably not a big deal, I wouldn't need the spacer. 
but you can see the difference right here on the ends of the shaft. Okay, so the new shaft is, is actually cut down. Uh, you know what, I am going to mic that. Let me get my caliper. Okay, so I got my caliper, and I'm going to mic the end of this shaft right here. And I come up with 35 millimeter. 35 millimeter. Okay, so on on the new shaft. On the part that's cut out it is actually 35 millimeter. Okay, but the rest of the shaft right here is 40 millimeter. Okay, I'm 35 millimeter all the way down this shaft right here, and I got to slide those bearings on there. So the new bearings, I believe, were 40 millimeter. No, 35 millimeter. So the in the inside damper. Okay, so that that will work. The problem is the bearing. The new bearing will not fit in the hole on the gearbox. Uh, one other thing here I did notice on the gear that came out. The gear that came out, I'm micing that right there, side to side. And we've got 45 millimeters. On the new gear, The new gear, we have 48 millimeters. Okay, so slightly three millimeters too wide. Now, I don't think a shim is gonna be able to do, take care of that issue because here is a shim. And these shims are 10 millimeters. So that's gonna overshoot it by seven millimeters. Anyhow, at this point, I have to uh, put this gearbox back together with the old parts. Okay, so I noticed something. <clears throat> I'm looking at the drawing. I got the drawing right here. I printed it out from the book and highlighted everything in yellow that, that, that came with the, the rebuild kit. So I go back to the book. This is where I got the drawing from. And I look right here. A 335 0401. And it looks like that would probably be the date. Uh, 2 to uh, 9 of 94. Okay, so the 0401. So then I look for the manufacturer sticker on the side of the stitching head. So we have a 0401 book number. And right here. Right there, we have a 335-0400. So we got 0400 tag on the sticking head. And in the book, we have a 0401. So, that being said, I would believe that we have the wrong books for this machine. Okay. So, since Bill Seidel, or whoever the original owner of this machine had it, um, they actually had the wrong, I think they have the wrong books. I'm looking at the stitching head. And on the stitching head, we have a C566. Okay, so I was just curious. That's our, that's our stitching head. Just curious, do we have the right book? Okay, three knife trimmer book right here. These are the books that came with it. And I'm seeing a different number here.
So I don't know. I don't know. I would. I would assume that this book is correct. I don't know. I'll let you make the call on that. Anyway, we got a lot of books for this. This, a lot of books for this thing. Uh, I think the problem right there is we got the right parts for a zero four zero one. Problem is, is we have a uh, zero four zero zero. All right, I'm gonna put this thing back together. I think first I'm gonna upload this video and send you a link to it. Um, I'll have my phone near me while I'm putting this together the rest of the day.